Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're talking about Mary, the mother of Jesus, and a couple of episodes ago, we discussed Mary's title as the Queen of Heaven, how she is the Queen due to being the mother of the King, just as the Queen was always the King's mother in the Davidic Kingship of Israel. Now, what does this mean for us? And Adonias, the son of Haggith, came to Bethsabi, the mother of Solomon. And she said to him, Is thy coming peaceable? He answered, Peaceable. And he added, I have a word to speak with thee. She said to him, Speak. And he said, Thou knowest that the kingdom was mine, and all Israel had preferred me to be their king. But the kingdom is transferred, and has become my brother's, for it was appointed him by the Lord. Now therefore I ask one petition of thee, turn not away my face. And she said to him, Say on. And he said, I pray thee speak to King Solomon, for he cannot deny thee anything, to give me Abisag the Sudamite ass to wife. And Bethsabi said, Well, I will speak for thee to the king. 1 Kings 2, 13-18 Adonias once tried to gain control of the throne from David, and if he'd succeeded, Solomon never would have become king. Not only that, but the main reason why Adonias' plans were thwarted was because of Bathsheba, spelled Bethsabi in the Douay Rheims Bible. So if any two people have a reason not to trust each other, it's these two. Still, when Adonias asks her to speak to the king for him, she agrees to do so. The queen was more open to direct requests than the king was, probably at least partly because the king was busier. Then Bethsabi came to King Solomon to speak to him for Adonias, and the king arose to meet her and bowed to her, and sat down upon his throne, and a throne was set for the king's mother, and she sat on his right hand. And she said to him, I desire one small petition of thee, do not put me to confusion. And the king said to her, My mother, ask, for I must not turn away thy face. 1 Kings 2, 19 to 20. Because of the close mother-child relationship that the queen and king had, the king always listened to the queen's requests, even if they were requests on behalf of someone else. And she said, Let Abisag the Sutamite S be given to Adonias thy brother to wife. And King Solomon answered and said to his mother, Why dost thou ask Abisag the Sutamite S for Adonias? Ask for him also the kingdom, for he is my elder brother. And hath Abiathar the priest, and Joah the son of Sarvia. 1 Kings 2, 21-22 However, that doesn't necessarily mean the request will be granted. In this case, it was a request to marry one of the king's female companions, which would have made the king look weak in the eyes of the people, and undermined his authority, which is why Solomon says, Ask for him also the kingdom. Solomon, because of his great wisdom, notices this right away. God's wisdom is even greater, and he too knows when a request will be bad for us. This is what the role of Mary is in relation to us. She intercedes on our behalf before God, and because of her close relationship to God, we can be sure that prayers offered through her will have a fair hearing, even if they may not in the end be granted. It will always be for our good. However, there's one more thing to point out. Adonias was the son of Haggith, not Bathsheba. He wasn't the child of Bathsheba, so the connection between Adonias and Bathsheba wasn't one of mother to child, like her relationship to Solomon was. And the dragon was angry against the woman, and went to make war with the rest of her seed, who keep the commandments of God, and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Revelation twelve seventeen, The rest of her seed, Mary's other children, all those who keep the commandments of God, and have the testimony of Jesus. In other words, faithful Christians are also the children of Mary. This is because they're part of the church, which is the body of Christ. For as the body is one, hath many members, and all the members of the body, whereas they are many, yet are one body, so also is Christ. 1 Corinthians 12.12 12. Our relationship to Mary is closer than Adonias' relationship to Bathsheba, and as a result, she is, if anything, even more willing to hear us and pass along our messages for God. This is how Mary, being the Queen of Heaven, affects ordinary Christians today. She is our intercessor. She is the Queen. Next time, is Mary really the one who crushes the head of our enemy? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.